Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This weekend we have the Baltimore Washington Pin Show, which is pretty close to my house. So um, I went yesterday, which was Friday and today. And yesterday I didn't buy too much. I was pretty smug when I left yesterday. I bought this book um, by Scott Jones. He, he has drawn every day since 2018. Um, so I bought his book of daily drawings, which was only $30. And I bought this Joya Heart to Note which was on sale for 50 bucks. And these are normally uh, $200 or so. So I bought this and then I went back today and I was uh, not quite as successful as I was yesterday. So yesterday I spent $80 and I got... Uh, this freebie bottle of Fiesta Red ink and another freebie I got today of uh, Private Reserve Sherwood Green. And then I bought another Joya, still $50. And I needed some nibs um, for some watermints that I'm repairing. So these, not too bad and as far as price, but where I really went wrong was uh, I bought a couple of vintage watermans and they set me back a little bit, but still not too bad. And I bought a bottle of uh, Tasha uh, Sabi Midori, which is one of my favorite inks. I'll show you that in a bit. And I was able to meet Mr. Hardy. If you're familiar uh, with my channel, um, you know I'm a fan of his work, from Hardy Penwrights. And so I bought a pen from him today and I'll show you that in a sec. But first I'll show you some of the inks. Again, these are two freebies. They have a, uh, a you know, giveaway desk where you bring in something and take something. So I took a um, couple of Jin Hao's and a Hong Dian or two in this morning. And I got these two freebies. So I will swatch them for you so you can see them. Just need to give me get a swab. So this is Private Reserve Fiesta Red. I really like Private Reserve ink. Has a nice nice consistency to it. So it's kind of a has a little bit of a brown to it. I'm making a mess. Nice dark red. Almost a, a blood red I would say. And I put this in the in the Joya. Let's see what this looks like. Dipped. Just using I think this is a moon man glass pen. So this is private reserve. This is a nice wet ink. And this is Fiesta Red. So that's what that looks like. Yes, yeah, pretty much a, a blood red. That's how I would describe it. And so the next freebie that I got today was the private reserve this is sherwood green fast dry ooh it's tight I have to edit this out this is going to take me a minute so the ink had dried around the cap but just ran it under some water so we'll take a look at the 
Private Reserve Sherwood Green. Kind of a light green. Pretty green. Not bad. I drew these ink bottles. Did buy some stamps. So maybe I'll use those at some point. Private Reserve. Looks really nice in the, in the pen. Sherwood Green. Nice ink. So that's the two freebies. And I will show you the Tasha. I already have a bottle of the Sabi Midori. So that's what that looks like. Very nice, um, kind of a dark teal. So, so that's the inks. I'll set those aside. And these are just some Waterman number twos and number one, number five. And I'll, I'll, you'll see these hopefully in a video where I'm restoring. And so I'll show you the pens. These uh, joyous, they also come with the with the interchangeable section here, so you can use it as a ballpoint. So you can use it as a ballpoint. I I typically I take the I have another Joya Partenope that I got from uh, I think it was Pinchelet. So I I really like gel ink, not ballpoint ink. So I. I exchanged these, I changed these out, but that's a, it's a neat feature. I don't really use the ballpoints much, but that's the Partenope, and this is inked with the Private Reserve Sherwood, no, I'm sorry, Private Reserve Faster Red. It's a nice satin finish. These are made in Italy, and this was uh, from Vanessa Pins, I think. They said they were um, not selling these anymore. So there it is. This is an, uh, what is this? An extra fine. So that's that. And today, well, I'll show you. Find me a pad here. I'm a little bit unorganized today. And I'll show you what this writes like. So this is the Joya Bartinope. And this is, I thought I got an, um, a fine, this extra fine stainless steel and the ink, Private Reserve Fiesta Red. This is a very, um, firm, almost graphite-like texture to this nib, but very beautiful. I haven't inked the, the one that I got today, but it's the same. It's just in a rose gold trim, and it's a medium nib. So I guess I could dip it. I'll dip it in some of the Sherwood green, and so you can see what the medium looks like. Joya. And this is very smooth. And it's private reserve. Sherwood green. This is a nice medium. I don't often go for mediums. I like extra fine and and fine. For some reason, I thought the one that I got yesterday was a a fine. But um, 
was an extra fine. So they're very nice. So you can see the difference between the, the medium and the extra fine. So there's a nib. And again, these are the same, just one is rose gold and one is um, kind of a, a traditional gold. And again, they both come with the, the sections. And as far as Mr. Hardy, I got another one of his uh, Tinty Travelers. And this is in the Jonathan Brooks Bohemian Twilight. And this is an extra fine. This is what this looks like. I can dip this in the Sherwood Green as well so you can see what his extra fine looks like. So this is again another nice writer. Uh, these are Joe Yovo 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 number six. And this is a extra fine. Yovo. And um let's see. Very firm as well, but nice. And he's such a, a kind man, such a, a gentleman. Had a nice time talking to him this morning. I highly recommend his pens. I really, I love his pens. He's such an artist. So just a plain nib. But I love his, his roll stop. And this beautiful Jonathan Brooks resin. Jonathan was at the show as well. He had a lot of uh, a lot of different um, blanks and uh, a lot of pen offerings. Um, beautiful. So this is a vintage Waterman. I think this is maybe a 50, what is this? Maybe a 50, I don't know, 52, 54. I'm not sure what this is. I have to look at it more. But it does have a, a non-original cap. So I got a decent deal on this one. Well, actually, I got a decent deal on both of them. Um, so this is, this probably needs a lot of work. I, I know the sack needs replacing. So it's a very fine, as you can see, Waterman's. I'll have to put that in the description what it what a, what this is fifty something. And I think this is an extra fine. Fourteen carat. And it's a firm. It's not a uh, flexi waterman's. But there's the pen. And this was a hundred bucks. You see it has uh, some flaws in it, but Overall, very nice. I really like the red ripples. And this one is a Waterman's 56. So, um, this one can go for a pretty hefty price. It also needs a new sack because I can't, the lever won't move. So, I'll work on that. There's the nib. So, we'll see how the nib works. Again, it probably needs some working some tweaking so this is a oh nice the nib won't need anything other than probably some cleaning this is probably feels like a fine um, 14 carat and it's another firm one no flex to this very nice And lastly, but not leastly, is I met Scott Jones. And I saw this book on uh, Craig, I can't say Craig's name, but um, he's a Vintage Waterman's fan. And Scott draws, like I said, he been, he's been drawing every day since uh, 2018 at least. And he's just the various drawings from every, every day. For. In this book, it's uh, three years, but um, he signed it, and he was so gracious with his time, answered all my questions, and just talk about you know his his mindset and his process. 
Um, that's probably one reason why I didn't spend too much money yesterday because uh, we talked so long that I, that I was a little wore out. And I just stopped by after work. So I was already on fumes. But um, it was such a pleasure meeting, meeting him. But Craig um, did a review of this book. I think his last name is Rockanova. He's a vintage waterman's freak. Um, so yeah, you could check out a review, his review of this book. But Scott is such a gentleman, uh, so, so such a gracious man. And, and that was the impression I got from the, the show in general, that everyone, they're just so salt of the, salt of the earth. Just very nice people, very kind people. The only curmudgeons that I came across were the pin repairers. Some of the men were a little, you know, a little rough around the edges, but that I guess that's just their nature. But um, such a nice experience. It's my first pin show, so. So this is what I got at the Baltimore Washington Pin Show. I saw a couple people there from YouTube, but. Um, Scott does have some of his books on Amazon if you're interested and all of his drawings are done with vintage Waterman pens. So that was my experience at the Baltimore Washington Pen Show. I hope again you're all doing well and I will catch you next time probably with um, some um, restoration videos. Okay, take care.